What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I, I almost find this comical. I don't know if Eagle fans and, and Cowboy fans will find this funny or not, but you have to laugh at this because at the moment we're like identical twins identical okay seriously because what the cowboy fans and eagle fans both want neither of them are getting it neither one is getting what both of us want and that is right now our coaches fired and our quarterbacks replaced. That's literally what both fan bases want, right? Or at least some of the fan bases. Because, you know, immediately when you lose, fans have no patience. No patience. And it's amazing because seven weeks ago, if you had said to Eagle fans that you would want to get Nick Sirianni fired and Jalen Hurts run out of town, you would have been said. They would have said, "Man, put down the crack pipe." They, they would have said, "Man, you got too, it's just too much shit that you're smoking." Because I can't honestly believe where we are right now. But, but that's where we are. That is literally where we are right now. That Eagle fans want to get rid of Nick Sirianni. That he is the worst coach in history. Even though they went to the Super Bowl last year, they say he's a bum. He's ass ass. And Jalen Hurts now all of a sudden after him being the media darling, you know, where people said Jalen Hurts is, is the bomb diggity and stuff, now they're saying they got to the Super Bowl in spite of Jalen Hurts, that he came along for the ride. And here we are with the Cowboys. The Cowboys coming off of their third straight 12 and uh, 5 record, making it to playoffs three years in a row. Unfortunately, with a one and three playoff record, that they want, you know, after the 2020 season, after having one of the worst defenses in the history of football, and Dan Quinn at least making the team respectable, that they want his head on a silver platter. They want Mike McCarthy fired and left out there. You're not, not really, because here's the thing that's, that's so amazing to me because, see, some of you guys are Johnny Come Latelys. See, I have been here on this planet for over 58 years. And see, I remember during the 70s when the Eagles franchise was literally one of the worst franchises in football. Forget about them winning three world championships between, you know, before 1960. During the 70s, they were horrendous. They did finally get to that first Super Bowl um, and got their lunch handed to them. They got their lunch handed to them. Dick Vermeil cry, but then again, when does Dick Vermeil not cry? Be that as it may, the Eagles were atrocious. They were god awful. And see, I'm also old enough to remember the Dave Campo years of five and eleven, five and eleven, five and eleven. Yeah, that suck is there. You, you feel bad. You, let, me, let, me, let me explain to you something, guys. You feel bad that we were 12 and 5, that we at least tasted victory 12 times in a season. You are mad because we didn't go far in the playoffs. Five and 11, five and 11, five and 11. Imagine, imagine if you will, imagine if you will, that you are the Washington Commanders three years in a row. Right now, the season that the Commanders just had, that you got that three years in a row. Funny thing is, we used to think that Jason Garrett 
that was an upgrade from the day in Campo. Because at least we were 8-8. Eight and eight, That at least at the last game of the season, we had a chance. We had a chance to make it to the playoffs. A chance. If they could just win one more game. But at least we tasted victory eight times. And now we got Mike McCarthy. 12-5, and 12-5, 12-5. And Eagles, you had back-to-back -back playoff teams. Actually, three times playoff teams. Three years in a row, including being in the Super Bowl. And everybody's ready for everybody to be fired. I almost find it ironic, to be honest with you. Now, as a Cowboy fan, Cowboy fans, we're mad. We, we, we want something different. We want to hoist that trophy up. And I'm right there with you, bro. I'm right there. But I don't know that blowing the whole thing up, blowing the whole kit and caboodle up, is necessarily the right move. Now, I want you to think about this for a second. Which is a better option? Taking, because yeah, I've heard people say, say that what we should do is, maybe we should take and trade Micah Parsons and trade CeeDee Lamb, get some number ones, dump Dak, and go up for the number one quarterback. So let me see if I get it straight. You're okay taking a $60 million deadhead, getting rid of your one of the best receivers in football and one of the best defensive players in football to get a quarterback. Eagle fans, Jalen Hurts, he can do it if he's got help around him, especially like a play caller. It's just crazy and comical, actually, as I sit here. And I think what fans want and how irrational it is. If we did blow it up this year and then come next year, we are the commanders. A five and twelve season. How are you gonna feel next year watching football? And what if, hypothetically, what if blowing it all up, blowing it all up, you still don't win? Have you thought about that one? So, Eagle fans, I'm just curious. How y'all doing right now? How you doing with Nick Sirianni coming back? I'm good with it. I'm good with it. And so, I'm going to ask this question. This is, this is not bullshit. This is a real question. Who you got more faith in? Mike McCarthy or Nick Sirianni? Mind blown. All right, good people. See you on the flip side.